Anthropic skills are now in OpenAI's ChatGPT. So first it was MCP, which Anthropic came up with, uh, and then the industry adopted. Now the skills framework seems to be something that is also happening the same way. Uh, it's interesting because skills are something that not many people really understand. Michael, can you give us an explanation of what this is? So um, let's step back a little bit with your large language models. What we're starting to see is a lot of this uh, capability improvements in sort of the harnessing and how they're actually building the apps that wrap around the large language models. So for instance, I know in the coding, if you're using Claude, for instance, it, it started to do what they're a, um, a Claude.md. So that MD is Markdown file. And that Markdown file basically explained to Claude about the project you're doing. And Gemini did the same thing. So now you've got a Gemini.md and now you've got a chat GPT. They call it Codex.md. So that is one standard now with the MCP, of course, uh, chat GPT is doing it. But with skills, skills are a bit different. Skills are like, um, like well, it's like a skill. So like I play bass, you play, uh, you're a dancer. Let's say there's a particular dance move that, that you know, there's nothing on the internet and it's very explicit the way you need it done. You would write it in a skill and you would ask, sorry, and you'd put it in a markdown file and you make it accessible to now ChatGPT. So now ChatGPT has that skill as written by you. And what we're seeing with all of these markdown files is this is this scaffolding or harnessing on however you want to put it that is making these models smarter and more efficient for you. It's um it's pretty cool. And what do you make of it? There's more and more of this to come, you reckon? Yeah, well, it's interesting because you can't have an infinite context window, right? So you can't load an inf in a business context. You can't have everything that, that uh, an agent might need to be able to do in a business just loaded preemptively into the context window. So what this does is it modulizes that and splits it up into sections that it can pull in as it needs it. So let's say there's some onboarding workflow for a new employee. You don't already have that loaded into the system prompt or the developer prompt for an AI or an agent. You pull it as you need it. So this is more similar to MCP than, than um, than you think, but it's based around kind of pulling in different prompts, pulling in different just text files um, or, or markdown files, as you said, explaining how to do a particular skill for the agent to reference as it needs it. And because you can have you know an infinitely large library of this searchable at the point at inference time when you need it, this means it's very, very scalable. Yeah, and uh, my short way of thinking about it is that these models are becoming smart by doing things like this rather than becoming smarter all by themselves. So this is this is how they're 